Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and I want to welcome you to Salem Discipleship. And thank you for kind of joining our journey with our Catalina 22. Today I want to make a, uh, a, a screen, a hatch screen for our companionway, companionway hatch. And uh, I'm going to be staying on the boat for a week, uh, in just a couple of weeks, and uh, I want to be able to get some ventilation without the bugs uh, that are notorious in southeastern North Carolina. So rather than being at the boat today, we're in my shop. This is where uh, my other YouTube channel, uh, small channel I uh, do, uh, does all of its stuff. It's a woodworking channel, uh, the Parsons Bench. Uh, I'll, I'll link to that below in, in case you're at all interested. So I want to make, again, this, this hatch, companionway hatch screen. And we're going to use... Uh, we're going to do this cheaply, so we're just going to use um, some one by two uh, select pine, and uh, then I'll, I'll treat it uh, to, to, so it'll stand up better for moisture. But I just want to make a frame; it'll slide in, and then we're going to attach some screen to it. It should be pretty straightforward. The the thing I've had the hardest time with is figuring out the angles um, because I did not have anything with me when I was at the boat doing my measuring. So I've, I've gone online and, 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 and tried to draw it out. So I think this will work. This could be just an utter disaster. But the, the short version is we're gonna make a, um, whatever shape that is, and kind of a wedge shape. And um, to get started, I wanna go over to my miter saw and get the, uh, get the angle set on it for 10.2 degrees and then we should be able to start cutting these things. I'll mark them uh, roughly on here so I know be sure to get the, the cuts in the right direction. Uh, and then we can start putting it together and we'll see where it goes. And I believe I can live with that. So let's make a couple of cuts. Okay, we got our pieces laid out. Uh, I think it's going to work just fine. So uh, my measurements overall. Um, I think seem good. 28 and a half, that's what I needed there. The long side, I needed at 29. That's right at 29. So, yeah, I think I'm good with this. I do think what I want to do is, is glue these, but also I'm going to put a pocket hole screw in them, and I think that will uh, give me, I think that'll be strong enough. This, I don't think it has to be overly strong. So let me get set up to uh, drill a few pocket holes. That came together nicely. I think that'll be uh, firm enough. What I want to do is go ahead and route just a little bit um, around the edge. My measurements show that uh, three quarter inch will slide into the companionway um, hatchway slots, though I'm not trusting my measurements. So I want to go ahead and take off a little bit, make it a little bit thinner, give a little bit of a lift to that. And I think now would be a whole lot easier. 
Uh, so I want to do that and then we will um, maybe this afternoon start putting uh, a finish on it. All right, looks like I forgot to hit the record button, but uh, I routed, I put a quarter inch um, rabbit in there, um, just over an eighth of an inch deep, um, but not quite not quite a quarter either uh, so I think that'll that'll do nicely and uh, so I'm gonna do just a, a quick little sand on it you don't need to see that and then uh, yeah then I think we'll be ready to put some finish on it this thing is uh, I'm ready to put a first coat of finish on it I'm gonna be using helmsman spur urethane and uh, man I hadn't used this stuff in years I think it's hopefully it'll work well on this. We'll let that dry a bit before we do additional coats. But I went on, I went on Amazon. And I want to say it was around twenty dollars, fifteen to twenty dollars. It's basically a netting that's intended to be thrown over uh, a hammock or uh, bushes that you're trying to keep bugs off of or whatnot. But it says that it is, you know, small enough to keep no CMs and stuff out. So this is a good project, I think, to to try to go that route. Worst case is I'm out $20, I can always use it for something, but it's soft, it's really thin, it's kind of hard to find the edges. Um, but uh, So what I've done is I've laid it out and I've got the frame on top of it, now I'm going to cut around it with plenty of excess. And then I will uh, start folding it and I'm going to just staple it uh, onto the back side of this. But first I just want to go around it, cutting it a little oversized. screen in uh, I got plenty uh, so once I try this you know, I can always redo it uh, but I think that will work in the short term I'm planning to spend the night one night this week that'll give me a chance to try it uh, I'm gonna put this aside and then we're gonna we'll pull it back out and I'll let you see how it fits at the boat all right here we are at the boat so this is kind of the moment of truth we'll see how this hatch screen fits and it fits great. And actually, I tried it earlier. The uh, hatch will slide right up against it. That'll hold it tight. Uh, this is a simple project, but one that will make a big difference. So, I do thank you for watching, and I hope that you'll join me next time on Sailing Discipleship.